Hi, this is Ben Lane and welcome to Ben's Business Podcast, episode number 19. And this week I'm going to be answering Christine's question. And that question was, when you're managing different businesses, would you rather make different websites or just make it all in one website? For example, furniture, home, deckers and landscaping. So the answer is, as I mentioned in the comments to Christine last week, that it really does depend on a number of factors. And those factors are, if you, if you can afford to just have one website, it, it's possible to do that if you plan on building that up to a big authority website, like a blog, um, it, it's worthwhile doing that. But that's a long-term, long, long-term strategy. The best, sort of, I, the best way forward is to do both of what I'm going to mention. So what we want to do is, we've got three options basically, three or four options. The first one is to build a hub, a hub website, um, which is your main brand's website. And that's what you want to flow everything through. All your content that you create on social media, I always recommend that we embed it or at least put it onto your website. So if you create a blog post, it's best to create a blog post on your website first rather than social media and then share it over. Um, to save yourself from duplicate content online. So you'd be best doing it the opposite way rather than social media then copy it onto your website for search engine and Google optimization purposes. So the, the hub, what, that, what I mean by a hub website is you can have your, your homepage, your about page, which explains the history about your team, um, all, all the different uh, products and services about your that you do as a service with under that so for example on my online marketing consultant.co.uk website I do have a list of the the products and services I have on that website but that's not my only website I have multiple websites but that's my my, my hub it's where I put all these podcasts on I put them onto the blog I put them onto the podcast page I have a resources page full of videos all the tips and things I put out there so I make that the hub where I have all my content in one place so people can go there as a resource. So that's Ben, uh, I've got Ben Lang as well, and I plan on making that a hub, but that's the blog, that's the where I'll send most of my uh, people who have never, never uh, only just met me online through my video content and want to learn more about me. If they find me through the other websites I'm gonna talk about, the niche websites, I'll always direct them back to this hub websites to build their business up. So what we want to do, Two seconds, I'm just going to share this on to Ben's Business pod, uh, Book Club. I'm just going to share this Facebook Live over there. And if, you've not, if you're not part of Ben's Business Book Club, it's a community of avid readers. on those high, highly searched keywords. It's very rare to find the exact uh, industry .com or .co.uk or wherever you are in the world. It's, it's difficult to find the exact match domain. So what another strategy for that is to add a, find a long tail keyword. And that can be, well, for my example, I could do WordPress website design.com or .co.uk um, or .net or .org. And Find, find a domain name, that's like the infrastructure, that's the most important part of building your, your website and your online marketing campaign is finding the right domain name for these niche specific websites. When we go back to number one and talk about the hub website, that can just be your brand in there, but I do always recommend if you, because web hosting allows you, gives you some space online like the cloud, like Dropbox. That's what web hosting does. It supports your domain name and all the files that you have on your website. So you might need to increase your package on your hosting as well uh, to have multiple domain names and websites within that uh, hosting package. So that might be another problem that comes up when you go for the niche specific websites. And I do recommend that if you're just starting out and getting your, uh, getting your trying to get business in. These are great sites for location websites. So what you could have is WordPress website design edinburgh.com or .co.uk um, and have that, then have Fife, then have Glasgow and go through all the, the highly 
uh, high population towns or cities in uh, your location, in your geolocation, if you're, wherever you are in the world. If it's America, then you could do one for each state and then you could go into all the major cities within the states. It depends how you want to do it and how many websites you're able to, to get. Well, um, you could have Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, all the cities, all the big cities. And then you can even go down to the small individual uh, towns in, in the county, for example, in Fife, you could go into Kirkcaldy, Glenrothes, and all the smaller towns as well. And that, that way you could have your, your hub website, but you could also be getting some traffic off of that because what these area pages do is it allows you to add another page onto your website. Just like when you add a blog post, that adds basically another page. And when you add all these pages on and they're targeting, I was looking for a landscaper and I seen anything to do with furniture, and, uh, I would probably be put off because like I've searched for landscaping in a location, for example. Um, and if they don't use this sort of area and location system very well and they have like a, a town that's not related to me on the on that page that I land on, they have a, a niche or a, a service that isn't related to my search and I land on that page, I'll end up clicking back and going to the next person down. Um, but Google are pretty good at organising who should be up there based on the set. It ticks all the boxes for what they're looking for. They're more likely to go ahead and make this. That's going to flow into a sale more easily than if they have to go through the categories of products and services you offer. So that's why in the first sort of that point where it's a prospect and they're searching for uh, on Google for a specific problem. And we're talking, this is all focused around search engine optimization reasons and marketing. They, they're not going to... Uh, be as easy, easily sold into what you're, you're selling because they've got to go on a journey to find what they're looking for. So I think that's quite important.